The interesting thing is about home shows that I've noticed over the last few years is that despite how beautiful these homes may be, the vast majority of them are simply empires of dirt or shrines to self. And the couples, if they're even married, most likely will end in divorce in a few years. All this to say that most, though not all, are building or renovating these homes and do not know why. They don't know what a marriage is, what a family is, and what a home or a domicile is for, namely, as a means to an end, namely, to facilitate dominion. Though the end may look the same, what my wife and I are doing in renovating a home with our family of seven is vastly different than what is transpiring when two gays or two gender-confused dog parents renovate a house. Sure, we want our home to be pretty. We want it to be inviting. I think you call that light and bright and airy or something like that. But that is all secondary to function. Does this home meet our needs? Will it allow us to expand and grow? Is it conducive for our work? Does it function for homeschooling and hospitality? Is there room for a library and a studio? If not, can we build one? If we had to, can we turn a profit on this house? What is the land like? Is there enough of it? Is it fertile? And so on. Our entire focus is on building up our household, which means we're not just thinking about the present, but the future. We're not just thinking about our children, we're thinking about our grandchildren. This is completely different when Pete and Chastin renovate their home, or when Tristan and his alpha wife and their dog children renovate their homes. Theirs is a whitewashed tomb, a monument of decay. Though beautiful on the surface, their function is anti-dominion. For all of their awesome finishes, their homes and their legacies will suffer that same fate as Ozymandias, that great king of kings. Nothing besides remains, round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sand stretch far away. 